Hi guys, long time no voiceover. Hope everyone's doing well. I want to give a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed to my channel. My channel now has over a thousand subscribers. So yay, thank you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you like art videos. Um, right off the bat, you saw the photo that inspired this sketch. Uh, it is from the Russian photographer, Ket I, I don't want to butcher her name, so I'll put her name below, but it's Katerina Pla Plotnikova, I believe. Um, I really love her, her, her photography. She does um, really whimsical, fantasy-style uh, photos with women and exotic animals. Uh, she's she does these really really cool things with uh, live animals and she does she does hire like animal trainers so you know everybody is safe and all of that uh, if you have if you don't know who she is or you haven't seen a lot of her work or you want to see more of her work I will leave her name below so you can go ahead and you could like google her look her up um, on a search engine and check out her photos they're amazing um, so yeah this was um, done in my sketchbook it was just a regular pencil sketch I didn't want to replicate her photograph, I just wanted to be inspired by it. So as you can see, my, my version is not realistic, and I switched up the colors of the hair and the dress, and I made the fox a little more cute. Um, I didn't want to completely make a copy of it, I just wanted to be inspired by it. So as you can see from my version, um, as opposed to the original photograph, they are a lot different, but they are still, you know similar because a girl holding a fox. Yeah. Um, I really do like the way that this drawing came out. I'm noticing that the more that I'm drawing, I'm starting to obtain a certain style of my sketches and I never thought that was possible for me. I always flip-flopped a lot and I never, never thought that any of my drawings looked the same. I always thought my sketchbook looked like if you opened it up and looked through it, it was done by way more than just one person. So I, n I never could tell that the drawings were always done by the same person. And I'm starting to notice um, after a year of steady drawing that I'm actually starting to draw, when I draw people, I'm starting to actually draw them kind of with a certain style. I'm not sure exactly what that style is called, <laughs> but you're starting to be able to tell that the same person is doing it, even though the drawings are completely different, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if I made sense just now, or if I was just rambling like a crazy person. Um, so yeah, I do get a lot of messages from you guys requesting drawings, and I try to do them like the Inuasha was highly requested. Um, I've never watched Inuasha, so I was stretching with that sketch. <laughs> I had to look it up, but um, there was other requests as well that you guys have asked and I have done in the past. If there's anything else you guys want me to try to draw, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know what it is you'd like to see me draw. Um, I do get a lot of requests to draw guys personally and I wish I had all the time in the world to draw everybody that asks but I don't unfortunately I've been extremely busy with my job and with my family um, so I do try to get these YouTube videos out when I can like today's my day off and I was able to film me drawing most of the time when I'm drawing I don't get the chance to actually set up a camera and film it so I was lucky today and I got to do this again this was not an original concept it was inspired by the photographer Katerina Plotnikova Again, might say that wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um, check her out. She's a, a fantastic photographer. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe for more art videos. And like I said, any requests, comments, questions, please leave them down below so I can chat with you. Bye, guys.